Hey guys, so I am back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping in and hitting that play button. I definitely appreciate it and I hope you guys stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so you guys can see more videos. If you are already subscribed, make sure your notifications are turned on so you do not miss an upload. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look. This is going to be my affordable a soft glam makeup look. I used mostly drugstore slash affordable brands um, in this video. So I hope you guys um, enjoy. I didn't want to do a high end one because I feel like I've done those before and me using high end products or like medium to high end products. But I wanted to do strictly one that was super affordable for everyone. I will try and list um, all the products that I use down in the description box like I usually do so if you guys are interested in any of the products make sure you guys check the description box down below just a disclaimer if you do click any of the links down below I do receive a small commission if you guys end up purchasing anything just to let you guys know but you don't have to but if you're gonna buy it anyway just use the link down below it really helps out the channel um, but this is not a sponsored video everything that I mentioned in this video um, I did purchase myself. Um, yeah, so definitely stay tuned, guys. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with my eyes first, which is why you guys are super zoomed in. I'll probably stay this zoomed in through the whole time, though, because I feel like it's a good distance. Um, so I'm going to be starting off with my... I do have a shirt on, guys, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to be starting off with my eyes like I normally do. Um, and the palette that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the ColourPop brown sugar palette this is one of their collabs um, with uh, Karuchi um, and I'm only going to be using this palette or at least I'm going to try to which I think I can get away with just using this palette um, the shades are pretty pretty neutral um, neutral but like warm so I can I can get a soft glam look out of this so first I'm going to go in and prime my eyelids I'm going to use okay, I'm going to go in with my NYX HD concealer and this is the shade CW7 uh, tan and I'm just going to use that to prime my eyelids and then I'm just going to go on with my beauty blender if you see me looking down I have my mirror here because it has a really good could mirror on this thing so I won't feel like I am looking away from the camera so much but I'm gonna go on with the concealer and just blend that out with my beauty blender just so that I have a nice base to start with I'm not going to set this with any powder even though normally I not normally. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today I won't. And I'm just going to go in with a little brush and just kind of blend out those edges. Because again, this is a soft glam look, not like a, it's not a cut crease. It's not super dramatic. It's not super shimmery. It's going to be pretty much a nice matte all around look. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this shade Amber. It's in the top row here. If this is still available, I will have it linked down below, this palette. Um, I'm going to go in the shade Amber. If you have the Jackie Ina palette, you can also use Ginger. But if you guys saw my Instagram, my daughter ruined mine. But so we're going to go in and I'm kind of like stamping this on kind of like so. And then I'm going to slowly start going back and forth. And I'm just going to kind of build this color up. I love building up shades like this. So I'm just going in with a little bit at a time. And like I said, first I dab. And then I'll go back in and 
do windshield washer motions. And then just keep building. I'm, I'm, I usually would go in and build this a lot faster, but since this is a soft glam, I want it to be super soft, so I don't want to build it up too much, and then I'm spending a lot more time, more time blending than I really need to be. I like this palette, but I feel like ColourPop single eyeshadows were way better. Just my opinion. But I feel like their single eyeshadows were a lot better and not as chalky. Um, like I said, this one isn't bad. I have a few of their palettes, but I feel like their single eyeshadows were really, really just nice and smooth. But I kind of just wanted to pick a palette that was, one, super affordable, and two, um, pretty much had all the shades that I was looking for, so I didn't have to go into multiple palettes. So... That's how that's looking. So now I'm just gonna kind of wipe this brush off a little bit and put it to the side because I will be grabbing it again. Now I'm gonna go into a, another brush um, and I'm gonna go in with this shade Jamocha, which is the shade right next to Amber. I'm gonna go into that and I'm going to apply that kind of right above where I had this shade here just to blend out the edges just so it's nice and soft. I want this look to be super duper blended. I'm kind of just using it just to buff out those edges around that amber shade. Like that. If you guys can see the difference. I can, but you know, you guys are the one watching. So we'll go with that. So let's blend out the edges and just really work it in. This is kind of like like soft glams. I feel like I don't do them that often. Like I feel like I do no makeup makeup looks more often than a soft glam. Um, and a soft glam in a no makeup makeup look is totally totally different. I'll link one of my, I, I did a few no makeup makeup looks before. I'll link one of those uh, or one or two of those up in the cards so you guys can check those out. But soft glands are just usually different. They're like you're still going for a flawless look but it's, it's still glam. Like the purpose of it is <clears throat> still to be glam, right? So I'm just going back and forth. I just want this to be super blended. So I'm just going to go with that same initial brush and just kind of blend it out more. Just a little bit more. Okay. Next, I'm going to start going into kind of like the deeper shades that I want to use. Um, and I'm going to go in with... The same kind of brush that I use for the last shade, but I'm gonna take a clean one and I'm gonna use this shade Sorrow, which is down here in the corner. And I'm just gonna tap off the excess. This, this palette has a lot of kickback, which I don't mind, but just to warn you guys. And I'm just gonna kind of like apply that right out of here and then bringing it into the crease a little bit. I feel like this is going to be kind of like a chocolatey soft glam. I'm kind of just swirling it like so on that outer edge and then slowly dragging it in. Because I don't want to drag it in too harshly because then I feel like it's going to get too dark too fast and I don't want that. I want it to get dark very slow just so I can kind of gauge how I want this look to look. And just take your time with blending. Soft glams, they're easy, somewhat easy, but it does require to you to do a lot more blending than you probably normally would if you're doing like a cut crease or something a little bit more dramatic. Um, so definitely just take your time with blending. That's where most of this time is going to be taken up at.
Okay, now I'm gonna go back within that first shade and that's amber. And I'm just gonna kind of go back in and add that back in because like I said, this is kind of like a back and forth situation. Back, 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 back forth and forth. You know, like you wanna go back and forth because when you're blending, you're blending shades away, you're blending them together. So I'm just going in and just adding a little bit more of that color back because I do like how this color looks um, in the transition. So I don't want it to get lost in the salt. And then on this second layer, I'm gonna kind of bring it a little bit more in than I did before. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of my concealer just to not cut my crease, but the color that I'm gonna use underneath, I need something just to make it pop a little bit more. And then we're gonna go back in with another brush in a second just so that it's not so cut or so sharp. That's why I'm not blending it out super, super crazy. But when you have an eye shape like mine, we don't got a lot of lid space, so we gotta work with what we got. So now I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the E50 from Sigma, and I'm just gonna kinda blend that out along the edges, just very, very largely blend it out. Just so that the edges are not super harsh because we're not going for a cut crease. We're going for a soft glam. You feel me? Okay. So I don't want the edges to be super sharp. And I actually learned this trick from Jackie Ina's soft glam video when she used this brush. This is like one of my, I, I like always forget about this brush, but this is actually one of my favorite br brushes to blend out like concealers like this on your lid. And I saw her use this brush in her soft glam video and I was like, <gasps> duh. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Chai right here, which is the first shade in the palette. And I just flipped my little brush and I'm going to apply that in that same motion that I was blending it out. So just in a nice, and this shade does not have any shine. Again, all these shades are matte. You can always step up a soft glam and then, but then I feel like it's not gonna be called soft glam anymore. Just my opinion. I feel like once we start adding a little shimmer, it ain't a soft glam no more. It's just glam. Or glowy glam. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, I love shades like this on my lid because I feel like it really opens up my eyes. And I use like a bright shade, especially since I'm not going to be going crazy, crazy in with the inner tear duct highlight. At least I don't think I am. Don't quote me, but I might. Okay. Okay, so she's coming together. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with Amber. Again, this is all the blending session. We're blending, blending, blending. I'm gonna go back in with blend, uh, Amber, but I'm gonna go back in with a slightly more tapered blush brush actually no I'm not I'm gonna go back in with the original brush same fluffy brush that I've been using this is the Sigma E40 this is their synthetic version of this brush and I'm just gonna blend that out speaking of Sigma do you guys remember when they used to name their colors like Mac like it just used to be I think it was like E224 or something Remember they used to name them like Mac brushes but just just a trip down memory lane just made me think of that. I don't know why. 
And then I remember people used to give them so much crap about it. And then that's when they started changing them to, you know, E this and E that. I'm going to go back in with Sorrel. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of Chalk, which is this brown shade down here. This has so much kick kickback, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. So much kickback. I'm going in with both of those colors and just mix them together. Because I want it to be a little bit deeper out here. And I'm kind of blending it up and in but I don't want it to get too crazy dark because again I want to keep this pretty soft and I'm kind of bringing it all the way in but very like my hand my the pressure of my hand gets lighter as I go for like out here I'm pretty rough and then as I go in I just have a more softer delicate like hand Again, blend those edges, guys. That shade amber is very important in this look. Very, very important. Oof. It's like I don't mind kickback. It's just annoying. I don't mind it. It's just like I don't want it all over my desk. You know? It's a lot of... I mean, you guys seen my filming setup video. Like, granted, my desk is black, but, like, I don't want it falling all over my carpets, which is black as well. Okay, so I think I'm getting kind of the look that I'm going for. And, again, black in with amber, just so that, I just like how that stays very pretty out there. Then I'm going to go in with another layer of chai just to brighten it up with some and to keep the look super blended this is kind of the thing with the soft glam it takes time but it ends up being so pretty at the end okay so I'm kind of wrapping up the eyes because at this point, um, I'm just, I'm over it sitting here filming. So now I'm going to go in with my NYX, M yeah, my MYX uh, liner. This is in Jet Black. And I'm just going to kind of apply that to my lid, not lid, yeah, my waterline, not waterline. What is this? My lash line, get it together. And I'm not doing it super neat but I'm not doing it super messy either because we're gonna go in in a second with a little shadow and kick that off so I'm not winging out this look at all at all at all okay so now that I have that kind of prepped down I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with that shade chalk not chalk, chalk, like chocolate. And I'm just going to smudge that out. Okay, so something like that. <sighs> I think if I should do my lashes. I'm gonna do my lashes now. So the lashes that I'm gonna be using, these are from Ardell. These are the baby demi lashes. They look like this. They're super short, but not dramatic at all. Honestly, I just didn't feel like doing all of that. You could do bigger lashes if you want. I'm not. Um, so I'm going to put these on off camera because y'all know it's going to take me a hot minute. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I got my lashes on. You guys probably really can't tell, but I can tell. And I want to get into the favorite part, which is the, uh, the, the skin. The skin, the skin, the skin. 
Um, I'm going to first, I already applied my moisturizer. You guys know I've been kind of doing the moisturizer, setting power, setting powder, setting spray, primer. Well, yeah, I've been doing it in my past few makeup videos. So that's what I'm doing. I've already did that off camera right after I did my brows. So now I'm going to go in, I think I'll go in with this setting spray. Yeah, I'll go in with my Mario Badescu rose water, I think. Yeah, let's go in with that because that's what I have in my hand. I don't feel like grabbing anything else. Mm, yeah. And I'm going to let that dry. And as I let that dry, I'm just going to apply some of my mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I like this mascara a lot, it's even without lashes, like just in general. Um, I like it a lot, and I'm just using it to kind of blend into my falsies or for my real lashes to blend in. And I really like these Ardell lashes. They're like, if you're a beginner with lashes, check these out. They're super easy to put on. The lash band is like super thin, which I love. Um, so it just, I don't know what they call it, like an invisible lash band, but I love it. Um, if you're not good at putting on um, lashes like myself. <laughs> So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to use the NYX Hydra Touch uh, Primer. Remember you guys, I said this is going to be an affordable um, soft glam look. So I am using like a lot of drugstore or a lot of, you know, lower end products. I didn't want to come on here and just do all luxury products. But you guys know there are a lot of, not a lot, but a few drugstore products that I actually really, really like. So... And then for this video, I was kind of dancing around what kind of foundation I wanted to use. Um, and I narrowed it down. But first, I'm actually going to conceal underneath my foundation. Um, just because that's what I want to do today. Not for any particular reason, honestly. It's just I, I want to do that today. So I'm going to go in with the MYX HD Concealer. I'm going to go in with the shade CW8 and C... Where's my other one? Oh, there she go. Uh, then I'm going to go in with CW 7.5 and 8. Or 7 and 8. Don't don't lie. I don't know. I'm going to go in with this one. Yeah. Same one I used under my, um, to prime my eyes. This is, this is 8 first. Just slightly lighter. This is eight, and then I'm gonna go in with seven, which is the shade that I had used um, to prime my my um my lids. It's a tad bit lighter, and I'm just gonna go in with this. And I'm going to go in with the shade Espresso, which is number 9.5. Same HD concealer or same MYX HD concealer. And I'm going to use this to contour. And I'm going to go with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to use... The, the same one that I was using earlier and I'm going to blend out my contour first just because um, I like the, my under eye concealer just to sit for a little while and let it dry down a little bit. And if you ever find that you've allowed it to dry down too much, um, just like spray your uh, face with like some setting spray just to help it break it down a little bit. I didn't let it set too much, so I'm still able to blend it. 
And I'm going to blend my under eye. And I just use that concealer to kind of clean up that edge as well underneath my eye. Or, you know, this part here. So that's that. Before I get too deep into the, actually no, I'm gonna I'm gonna apply my foundation because I want to set my. I need to set my under eye. Now I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I love this foundation, and this is not my shade. Where is my shade? <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, I usually go between D40 and D50, but I really want to use D50. So I'm going to go in with that foundation. It's in the shade D50, Deep Golden, Love 2, 3. You guys know I love this foundation. I, I just love it. It's amazing. And I'm just going to dab it on my face first. I hate that this room is so cold that when I grab my freaking products it's freezing on my face not freezing but freezing enough I'm just gonna blend that out look above my coverage is just super bomb for a drugstore foundation I'm gonna be honest it's one of my favorites I actually used to love this actually I don't know if it's probably the same freaking foundation they just change the packaging but I don't know if you remember the CoverGirl Queen foundation I used it I actually used it in my one of my no makeup makeup looks I almost feel like it's similar to that with slightly a little bit more coverage like I feel like they might have just updated that formula and repackaged it honestly because it's giving me that vibe like that CoverGirl Queen collection, not the one that was in the squeezy tube. There was one, it was literally in the same exact bottle like this, but the labeling was different. Like, I wonder. I wonder if it's that same foundation. But whether it is or isn't, I love it. It gives me a really nice coverage. Okay, so now that that is all blended in, and that's nice and blended, now I'm going to actually set my under eye right now and finish up the eyes on the lower lash line. Um, so I'm gonna just blend that under eye out really quickly so it doesn't crease, or so I don't set it while it's creasing, so to speak. And then I'm going to set it. This is my Ben Nye Banana Powder and Topaz mixed together. And I just use that to set my under eye. I'm going to leave a little excess there just while I work under my the lower lash line. Just in case I have any fallout because I already told you these ColourPop shadows got a lot of kickback. So I'm going to go in with that same liner. This is the NYX liner you can go in like with one of those beige liners if you want i never like those on me um i'm going like that or you can use brown i could use brown to soften it up a little bit but i don't know me and black eyeliner just have like a really good relationship so I wouldn't want to ruin it okay so now I'm gonna go in with um, the shade chalk and I'm gonna apply that right underneath the lash line close 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 to the lash line then I'm gonna go in with sorrel and then amber so the same shades that I used up top um, like in the transition in the crease and I'm just gonna apply them in the reverse order that I applied them on my lid so to speak okay got it 
So first shade, chalk on a very tight, tight pencil brush, like so. And I just apply it right as close to the lash line as I can get it. You can even use it like a little smudger brush. I just don't have one right here at the desk right now. Going with a slightly larger, like a fluffier pencil brush. So it's like a pencil brush, but it's like fluffed out at the top. And I'm going to go in with Sorrow. So it's still pretty small, so it's not going to get everywhere. And I'm going to apply that to right underneath chalk. like so and then I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I I've been using to apply amber and I'm just gonna really kind of blow that out on the bottom not too crazy but it's a lot bigger brush so almost like blow it out a little bit like that when I do my nose, I kind of squeeze the, the tip very tightly just so I can get like a pretty straight get up. Now I'm going to go in with my translucent press powder. This is the CoverGirl True Blend um, powder in the shade Sable. It's number six. Love this powder, you guys. Uh, I love this powder. I'm like, no cap love this powder and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face okay now I'm gonna go in with my usual contour palette. This is the True Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark. And I'm just gonna go in with the contour shade and contour my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with the shade Sculpt. Um, and I'm just going to not contour my nose, so to speak, but just right kind of like up here. Like so. I'm still thinking about this inner chair duck highlight, guys. <laughs> I feel like I need to do it, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to go in with the shade Ginger from the same palette. I'm sorry, I need to <laughs> need add a little, little is in a highlight. Because I just feel like without an inner chair duck highlight, like, the look is not complete. It's not complete. Just a little. Just a little. Just bring her in. Oh, I love this shade. This shade is pretty. Yes, I like this shade a lot. See, it just brings the look together. Like, it just... I had to do it. Next for blush, I don't really have any, like, drugstore blushes. I mean, I have my ones from Juvie's Place. So I guess those are considered affordable. But I've been using those a lot lately. So I'm going to go in with, with my oldie 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 but still a freaking goodie it's the sleek um a blush by three palette in the shade sugar and i'm gonna take this first shade which is uh demera demera raw this first one right here this red one the one i always use guys <laughs> every time i grab this palette i use the same freaking shade i'm just gonna go on with that and just a i gotta remember like these are super pigmented All right, well, the only thing I got to do is my lips, and I still haven't decided. So hold on. Hold on a second. 
Okay, I think I decided, and I'm gonna go in with two lipsticks. This, they're both from ColourPop. I've, they're part of that same collection, the Brown Sugar Collection. I'm gonna go with Chocolate Tear and Cinnamon, and I'm going to use those on my lips. This is Cinnamon. It's like a little lighter brown, and then this is kind of like a nice chocolatey brown. Before I do that, I'm gonna line my lips a little bit with um, NYX Lip Pencil and Espresso. It's like my go-to lip for a lip liner. Drugstore version. And I'm gonna go in with a little gloss. And the gloss I'm gonna use, I don't know if this is still around, I don't even know how much it is, but this is the Vessi Goldsmith Silk Gloss. Um, I won't say it's affordable, but this is the one I have. It's called Charmed. It says it's a matte, but it's glossy as hell is glossy as hell and I want some glossy lips which y'all know that ain't my style but and like I feel like it just mats cinnamon so good so I'm literally just taking it right in the center I feel like this is literally the same shade of cinnamon oh wait before I go I got a set got a set I'm gonna use a matte setting spray this time I'm gonna use Oh, this is a affordable one. This I found at Marshall's. I don't really know where you can find it, but you can use whatever makeup setting spray you have. This is just the one that's right here. This is the Pearl Essence White White Charcoal Mattifying Setting Spray. And this is one of my favorites. I like. hope I can find it again one day once this runs out because I'm almost out of it. But I found it at Marshall's, and you know if you guys shop at Marshall's, you know how that goes. So. Okay. Okay, so here's the completed look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and enjoyed me talking through this video. Hopefully I did. Um, I never know in post-production things may change. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love it. It's super pretty, just super, like, soft. And I'm glad I added the little inner tear duct highlight. It made me feel a lot better about the look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys are subscribed and thumbs up to this video i would greatly appreciate it it really helps out my channel i plan on being here a lot more frequently if you guys have not noticed um so definitely stay tuned for more upcoming videos also let me know down in the description box um in the description box comment section what other videos you guys would like to see from me i would love to see what else you guys want me to do here on my channel whether it be hair makeup personal whatever it is let me know down in the description box obviously it's quarantine season i guess and we aren't going anywhere and i can't do all the hot girl spring and summer things that i planned on doing right now so hopefully this gets lifted before summertime um but i hope you guys enjoy i will see you guys in my next one again make sure you guys check out my website for my earrings which are still available also i do have a sale going on on my natural hair consultation as well because those will be discontinuing very soon only because i just don't have as much time with the business from my mango butter and my earrings and all that stuff going on. I just really don't, I don't want to spread myself too thin. So it's going to be discontinued very soon. So I just do have a couple of those um, sessions available. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting one of those, definitely check out my website um, and the coupon code for that will be down in the description box. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And I will see you guys next time.